Hello, YouTubers and Molly community. Focusars back again with a little quick update on the 116th scale Pro Street Pinto build. Hope you guys can hear me. I got a floor fan going and my little uh, EVAP cooler going. It's not doing any justice right now because the humidity is kicking up. Our monsoon season is kicking in. And with our extreme heat temperatures here in uh, Glendale, Arizona, Phoenix, right now, i say it's probably about 104 outside with nasty humidity out. All day today, yesterday, humidity would start kicking in, cloud cover made it worse. And tomorrow's going to be about 113, 115, somewhere around there, 117 on Friday. 118 Saturday and Sunday downtown Phoenix so for the outlying areas like where I'm at we could see 120 it's just down right hot and sticky anyways I got some uh, seats started for the uh, Pinto got the radiator in there kind of a little close, but I think that'll work. Everything clears underneath the hood. Just uh, bent me some styrene plastic uh, last Friday to get it ready for the uh, Model Car Mafia Club meeting with uh, Lucas C. And started working on the front suspension and started dripping sweat, drinking some water. I'll tell you what. Water ain't enough to hydrate in this extreme heat. So all day they uh, been cutting up watermelon, cantaloupe, been down in Gatorade water. And it's like, man, my mouth's still dry. Try to take as many breaks as we can throughout the day. Hose myself down with the water hose. Keep a cool rag around my neck. It's just unbelievable, especially with working in uh, RVs, what I do at work. Sometimes we've got to work in these motorhomes with no air, open windows. It can get up to 195 degrees in the motorhomes, 130. Tell you what, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I was putting in a rear window in a fifth wheel. No air. Boy, I must have sweat buckets for 45 minutes straight. Trying to get this rear window probably like 5 feet long by 4 feet tall. Man, that was a... A nightmare trying to get that rear window in and sweating. Well, it's a good thing we got uh, those huge EVAP coolers at work. But unless you're standing right in front of them, they ain't doing no good. Anyways, uh, back to the Ford Pinto. I was trying to have the roll cage and front suspension done, but like I said, sweating buckets, man. Just sitting here and I'm going to might have to free up one of my rooms in the house and get in the air condition. But being out here in the garage, the uh, garage ceiling still 118 degrees with a red dot. 111 while I was dropping. Anyways, uh, you all back there, back east in the humidity, 80 degrees, you guys are probably feeling just like us, but out here, you step in the sunlight and it's like, I can't explain it. The only thing I can say is, 
put your oven to 180 degrees and open the oven door and that's what it feels like when you walk out of your house. Anyways, uh, hopefully by the next video I'll have uh, the roll cage, fuel cell, front suspension on there, and hopefully the uh, the glass, uh, the glass uh, cut and fit in. Y'all be good. Y'all stay cool. We're trying to stay cool here in Arizona. The heat's coming. It's supposed to be record-breaking temperatures all next week. I think the lowest is like 115, 116. We're cooking, as this Eddie Murphy says, it's too hot in the hot tub. Too hot in the hot tub. Yow. Y'all be good. Happy mowing, everybody. I'm trying to keep these things from mounting. That's why I keep my fan with the garage door cracked open during the day, and hopefully this uh, Nova in the background doesn't start sagging. Well, y'all be good. Have you all and uh, stay tuned for the next video, and we'll try to do a live video when it's 118, 119 in the shade. Happy modeling, everybody.